ad hoc testing is one of the important concept in software testing world and with ad hoc testing you can find some critical bugs right it is one of the important concept that you should know to and sometimes people ask you in interview also so in this video we're going to target like what exactly is ad hoc testing we're going to discuss about different techniques types of ad hoc testing and i'm going to give you a couple of important reference and how to do it like a pro in the end so make sure you watch till the end because half knowledge is dangerous knowledge right and let's jump into the video and discuss about what exactly is ad hoc testing and when we should do it all right so let's get started all right guys okay so first of all let's discuss about what exactly is a ad hoc testing right and let me tell you very simple in a very simple way right this is going to be a very practical one so what if i tell you to test an app randomly right you don't have to so basically uh you have done your testing for a particular project for example a login page that you have done your testing right now what you want to do you want to do a testing randomly on such a way you don't have to document it you're just checking out the critical flows and break and trying to break the application and see if everything works fine or not right it can be web website is loading properly checking animations checking valid logins checking critical flows right so this is a very similar to the ad hoc testing that you are doing right so if you see here what if you start testing without documentation and structure way there's no plan no documentation no structure right that's exactly is the ad hoc testing and so you will ask me like promote what is the main goal of the testing right well, i know ad hoc testing basically means you don't have to create a document you have an structure way to testing out right main goal of that uh, ad hoc testing is basically breaking the application and find the critical defects and bugs right which can be missed in the traditional testing or a structured way of testing that we are doing right so that's uh, is a main goal and when you perform the ad hoc testing which is basically after a formal testing that you have done and trust me whenever you, we are doing ad hoc testing it basically means you should have a good knowledge of that product that you are testing out okay and uh, one of the technique that uh, basically we know is basically known as error guessing right like error guessing let me bold that and what if i give you a login page how you can break it right and so if you error guessing basically means that uh, or it is also called uh, it is basically experience based testing where test uh, analyst uses his or experience to guess the problematic areas okay so let me give you a very practical example if i'll give you a login page okay what will happen you know that this login page can fail for a different combination of a uh, for example alpha numeric characters or it can fail for a arabic language if i input a arabic username or password it can fail right how i know this about it because i have an experience and i'm just guessing the error that can come that can come that uh, means it can be that uh, it is already handled but this is my experience because i have seen in login page login pages username password when i entered in arabic way because they they are rtl i think it's right to left and that's where the problem is right or if you enter any kind of unique character that's uh, that's uh, can be an issue if you enter a naughty string in the login page of it that can also be a problem right so i'm guessing the error it's kind of a ad hoc testing that you are doing so you are basically doing the in a very unstructured way no no documentation i would say right but but what are the problems to know problems is basically whenever you find a bug it's very difficult to reproduce is because you are following some random kind of a way right there's no structure plan so you it can bug uh, reproduction is very difficult in that case right and it required a skill tester trust me uh, it requires anyone who has a good knowledge of the product and a very uh, skill tester is required okay it doesn't mean you cannot do it testing you can do it it i'm just saying that uh you should have a decent knowledge of the product okay types of ad hoc testing uh, i think monkey testing you all know guys this this is just random testing that we generally do right uh, we'll just click somewhere and see if it is how the system is behaving we do body testing where developer and tester can sit together and do a testing we we'll have a pair testing where pair of testers sit up they will double check the application and, and in ad hoc way no structure plan they're just focusing on the bugs and taking notes right what are the failure that they have found what are the benefits of it which is very important right uh, benefits are uh is this is freedom it's basically allow the testers to have a freedom and they can test the application in new ways right there can be a way uh, where they have completely missed the testing okay so that can they do 
it can be done anywhere in the SDLC. That's another benefit. It can be done by stakeholders. So sometimes I have seen, let me tell you a very practical example, right? Stakeholders try to do ad hoc testing. For example, a, valid, a login page is finished, right? right? So they will just uh, randomly check with some inputs that they think it can be can break the valid logins, right? That's what exactly ad hoc testing that they are doing, right? So that's what uh, it's uh, important, right? Uh, benefits is again, less documentation. And that's one other thing. Okay, I'm going to give you a couple of resources, guys. Make sure you note it down and link in the description. All the notes are in the description. So I hope that is clear now and everything is clear related to the ad hoc testing. If you want the difference between ad hoc and exploratory testing, this diagram will help you a lot, which is basically ad hoc testing is basically you started here and you will just go clicking application doing there something random, 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 and you end it here. If you do exploratory testing, basically you have a particular way to start it and you end up somewhere around outside of the test case that you are doing. For example, you started here, you will reach out here. But in ad hoc, you can do anything. For example, it can be uh, very similar to the monkey testing that you type. Okay, couple of links uh, for you guys. Uh, make sure you check it out. Read about it. These are very important. Okay, how to do it like a pro? I would say prepare a plan. Know the product, which is important. Get a rough idea. Focus on the critical flows. Uh, try to break the application. There is no specific tool for ad hoc testing. So make sure you are, uh, whenever you are doing ad hoc testing, you're just taking notes, whatever the bugs that you are finding in the critical flows. Okay. I hope you have learned something new, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. And this is all about the ad hoc testing in a very quick manner. Right. I have explained you. And thanks a lot. And I'll do check out the other videos, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll, this is your host, Pramod, and I'll see you in the next video.